Hey y'all, it's Bella. So now we're here, we're doing a night at the lab, okay? I know we were doing Saturdays, but I'm here, it's midnight. Um, again, it is my choice to be here at midnight because I choose not to wake up early in the morning and start my experiment. So since I started my experiment at noon, I'm here 12 hours later to collect the data. So what y'all are gonna see me do, I'm going to collect that algae and I'm gonna do a cell count on it. So I'm not gonna go into too many details about my experiment, you know, because I'm not trying to get caught up, but um, I'm gonna do that. I have to get the dishes and I have to start at algae culture. So I'll show you guys that. And I also have to stress everybody's um, like lab situation could vary. So your PI could be very strict. They want you to do nine to five, Monday through Friday. Um, they don't want you filming in the lab, none of that, okay? But my PI is very flexible, he's amazing. I think we're a perfect fit because I'm not the nine to five, Monday to Friday type person, I hate that. Um, and plus my experiments, they run so long, you know, it take three days just to grow a culture. So, you know, things change, things, things are very variable over here, okay? So I just grabbed a micro centrifuge. So I just grabbed the micro centrifuge tube tray. I have two micro centrifuge tubes because I have two samples from my experiment. But before I put them in those tubes, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of potassium phosphate. So what this is gonna do is gonna paralyze them for that cell count so that they won't be all running around when I get ready to count them. So that takes about five minutes to stop them from moving. It won't kill them, just paralyze them. So while we're waiting for that, I'll show you guys what I use to do my cell count. So this is a special glass side for this microscope right here. This is actually called a phase hemocytometer. It's designed to count red blood cells, but I use it to count my algae cells. But of course you can't see on camera, there are some tiny, tiny, tiny squares on each of these um, shiny glass parts. Oh, you can kind of see. But inside each square, I will count how many cells and I'll take an average. It's like a nice little calculation that gives me a pretty number. clean bench I will take one of these slants that the algae grow on and I want to transfer it into this liquid culture full of growth media that I have ready for it so what I'm gonna be doing so if you took micro you've seen this before these loops so I'm going to put it in the flame it's going to kill any type of bacteria or anything in there so I don't cause any contamination this is very important with the slants because they're my stock slants yeah so what you're going to see me do is i'm going to flame the loop and then i'm going to cool it down in the media that it's going in and then i'll go ahead and collect some algae put it in the media and that's it and then i'll put it on the shaker in the algae growing room and it'll take about three days to grow <laughs> that our culture that we started did not grow it was unsuccessful but it's all right so because it is still clear like water at least i know that it's not because of contamination so it probably just wasn't enough sales for the volume which is 100 milliliters in here 
But next time, I just know if I'm using that particular slant, I'll just have to add more or I'll use a different slant, which is what I did. I actually used a different strain that's similar um, that has better growth, so it probably will grow. But what I expected to come back and see was something that looked like this, like very green, not this dark, but definitely not clear. So it's okay, it happens. Um, yeah, and this is not the first time this happened to me. Probably won't be the last. Okay, y'all, that's gonna be it for this video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I have been getting really good feedback on these videos. If y'all have any questions or anything, you can comment them down below. You could DM me on Instagram, my Instagram linked in the description box. And subscribe if you wanna see more. I have a few more things I wanna show y'all. But until next time, I'll see y'all. Bye.